religious background. But what about the Gentiles? Most of them, what was their background? Thank you. They had, they come from a very uh, 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 loose and uh, liberal and unrestrained environment. But when they got saved, right? When they really got saved, everybody got what? Saved. Right? And so, the, but you know, uh, that, that doesn't mean that your background doesn't influence, you know, uh, your position on certain things. So if you came from a strict religious background, then you're going to have a tendency to, to, to be what? You're going to have a tendency to be what? Well, if you're not careful, you're going to have a tendency to be kind of more strict. You, got, you, got, you know what I mean? Those of us that have been raised in holiness, been raised around all of our lives, you know, we have a tendency to be more, we interpret things more strict, even when it comes to amoral issues. There are some things because we've been taught the way we've been taught. We just say, well, you know what? Uh, I ain't going to do that because I, I just don't want to do it because I just don't have no mind to do it. But how many of y'all know, you got a lot of folk coming in here that, 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 that have not come from that strict religious background. Now, the danger of those of us who have come from a strict religious background, we can become too narrow-minded and judgmental. What are the terms that we use when we narrow-minded, a little bit narrow-minded and judgmental? Now, you know we're talking about amoral issues. What are the, some of the terms that we use to describe those individuals who, who don't have those restrictions over them? You understand? They come in, they, they feel like, hey, look, it, it ain't no sin. I can do it. It ain't no sin. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Come on, y'all. I can do that. And, and those of us who come from a strict religion, we have a tendency, if we're not careful, to brand them as being what? We'll tell them they're not saved. We'll say they are what? We call them what? Carnal. We call them carnal. We'll call them worldly. Come on, somebody. And, and, and mind you now, what are we talking about the 14th chapter of Romans? We're not talking about sinful things, right? We're talking about eight more issues. And, and because of your iteral secrecy and the way you've been taught, and it's fine for you, but be careful. Don't judge people on amoral issues and, 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 and sizing them up spiritually, saying they are worldly and carnal. And those people who come in, now you got to watch those folk who haven't come from a strict religious background because they have to be watchful not to be too liberal. Amen. Amen. On, on the one end, you can't do nothing. It's a sin. On the other end, they're allowing too much. <laughs> and, and what do they start saying about those individuals who, who follow a strict code? What do they say about them? They call them holier than thou. Oh, here come, here come that super saint. Y'all done heard that kind. Y'all know they act out. Y'all trying to look at me act out. Y'all know y'all done heard that. Here come holy. Here come holier than thou. Oh, here come deep. Oh, here they come. Now they so deep. You know, here they come. See, ain't <laughs> crazy too. See, so amor issues. If we don't know how to deal with them, and Paul gives what ten principles. Y'all hear me say ten principles. How to deal with amoral issues alright see and you got to know how to deal with those issues uh, per, uh, for, for personal reasons first of all because you're going to face things you're going to be faced with things that you're going to have to decide you know uh, do I need to do I need to partake of this thing do I need to involve myself with this you understand and, and, and you need a set of rules to help you to deal with amoral issues because all of us are going to face those things have you ever been invited somewhere or something that you wanted to do? It, it could have been something that you did when you wasn't saved, you know, and, 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 and you just was like, should I, should I even want to do this? Should I, still, should I, you know, because, you know, I used to like play, to play basketball before I got saved. And then after I got saved, well, some people thought it was. And so I had to try to deal with that because some people say, well, you, if you save, you don't want to be uh, uh, on no basketball court running around, throwing no ball at no basket. That's carnal. And I listen. I said, okay. Yeah. And so, you see, uh, but, but I, I, there was a little conflict because I wanted to play some basketball. 
Yeah. What if I, you know, I, well, if you was really saved, you wouldn't even want to do that. Now, now I'm saying, oh, my goodness. See, so how do you deal with that on a personal issue? You might be invited somewhere or have occasion to go somewhere, and you just don't know, should I go to this place or, or you know. That's for on a personal level. You, all of us are going to be faced with amoral issues. And, and it's not the job of the church, neither do church leadership desire to be a, a policeman you know uh, we don't want to be lords I don't want I, I don't I, that, listen I, I got my my hands full I'm, I, I'm not following nobody around I ain't trying to be no policeman and no investor private detective matured Holy Ghost filled people should be able to decide on a, a moral issues using these 10 principles that Paul is teaching us. Amen? So it's very important for us to deal with that. All right. Now let's look at the issues of, 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 of the Roman church uh, in Paul's day. What was the amoral issues that was causing uh, some problems within the church? Uh, circumcision was a big issue. Eating meat. Is anything well, well, for let's 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 deal with eating meats first. Let's not even go to the the ones the meat that was sacrificed to idols. Let's just talk about meats. Some of the Jewish believers felt that you know there are certain meats that we are not supposed to eat, and they were correct, weren't they? Yeah. If what? If we were still under the law, <laughs> but they.